Hi, welcome to an Inventor 2021 video tutorial. The next part in the WW109 fighter plane series. Today I want to model the tail rudder. And I will do it in a different way because I could do it in a different way. So, uh, I need to make a new sketch on the main sketch plane. So start 2D sketch on the main sketch plane should be up there, okay. And I need a line, maybe like that, okay. Then add a tangent arc, which starts here and goes over there. I will edit it afterwards a little bit, because I need more like this, okay? Then add another tangent arc over here and maybe like this. Let's take a look. So this should be, could be, should be working. Yeah, I suppose it will. Yeah. Now let's finish this sketch and let's make an extrude with that one here. So go for extrude, select that sketch, turn it around, it, it should be 100 millimeter. Let's make it not transparent like this. And now I want to make a face face when it's here. Let's hide that image sketch which should be here, right click and hide it. So that's just working. So go for a fillet, go for a face face fillet and select this surface and that surface and it should be maybe 200. Great. Same here, go for another face face fillet. between this one and that one. So it's 200, not visible. So I have to change those direction and it's very hard to see. Maybe if I change both, yeah. And okay, great. Now I want to split those faces or this face. So go to split. The tool would be the L, the L plane. That's the tool. And I want to select all faces and split it right here and confirm. Then I need another split. And this time I want to split it with the M plane. And again, I want to select all faces here. So I got a nice split right there. So I will not draw a section MM because I would have to change it anyway, and I can do this with a patch, just one patch. I will get a very nice surface. Inventor allows me to do that. Okay, let's go for a patch. And first I want no automatic edge chain. And let's start here with those edges. And at first I want no tangency because I will change it afterwards. So just select all those edges like that and just confirm it. Okay, let's make this one not translucent. And I could rename this one, sorry, and call this one tail rudder. So I want it to put, be tangent to all those boundary surfaces. So let's edit this one, that boundary patch, and 
would be nice to make them all at once tangent but that's not really possible I can select only one by one so let's make it tangent takes a while tangent and I will change the weights afterwards H4 H5 H6 let's drag this so that's 6 then go for 7 8 and so on I've tried this sort of creating that tail in the other programs as well, but it didn't work. So that's why I did it in a different way. Let's take a look at that surface. Best from the side. So there's a big bulge. So I need to reduce the weight at those edges here. So maybe this one, that one, this one, that one, and this one. So let's see. Edge 1 should be here. Edge 5. Where is edge 5? It's this one. Edge 6. Edge 7. Edge 8. So let's begin with edge 7 and make this one, let's say, 0 0.2 and all the others as well. So point two. Really takes a while. But in the end I will have a very nice surface. If you want it to be more similar to the original drawing or image, of course you would have to bring in that section MM. So let's take a look how this looks yeah nice I could even make this 0 0.1 and I will make this 0 0.6 so let's go to the boundary patch and edit the first edge would be this one let's go for 0 0.6 next one 0 0.6 and let's take a look so you can adjust those weights yeah this looks uh, yeah, that's okay maybe even more pronounced here so that would be okay up there so maybe change some of these to 0 0.1 maybe this one that one those four edges here so let's go back to the boundary patch and I need let's see that's uh, this one let's go to 0 0.1 0 0.1 and 
since 0 0.1 and take another look it always takes a while to recalculate yeah so maybe I could even make this stronger maybe let's take a look from above yeah, it looks quite nice already but maybe just maybe push this a little further so it could go for 0 0.7 but I think I will leave it like that and you can of course adjust those values even more so maybe just maybe take a look so that's this one maybe go for 0 0.6 as well Firm and take another look so it's kind of tedious but the end result looks quite okay so maybe even add another 0 0.6 to the next edge that would be this one uh, let's take a look yeah so go for 0 0.6 once more and confirm it's really amazing that it allows me to do that with just one patch i'm quite impressed yeah maybe make this more pronounced but I think I will leave it like it is so in order to make this better visible let's add some material not material but appearance go for polished so yeah it, that's okay but I want this to be maybe let's go for this edge and make it 0 0.3 so I think you you'll get the hang of it let's edge the last edge maybe this one let's make this 0 0.3 yeah that's better yeah okay i think that's it for today so i hope this was helpful I hope you liked it if you did like it please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment please subscribe to my youtube channel and please subscribe to my facebook cat fan page i would want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well thanks for watching see you to the next one bye bye